So the first in-season NFL power rankings are out. Let's see where the Jaguars rank. So this video is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Guys, Underdog is promoting a new sign-up promo where they match your first deposit up to $100. And they also give you a mystery pick'em special for new customers. So to claim your mystery pick'em special plus up to a $100 deposit match, all you need to do is sign up on Underdog with my promo code UCFJAG, make a deposit, and head to the lobby to find out which player special you got. Now, guys, it is pick'em season, and every Jaguar game, I'm going to be giving you guys my picks. Last weekend, man, I hit two out of three of my picks. I picked two Jaguars, one Colts player. Trevor Lawrence hit the higher. Calvin Ridley hit the higher. And I went higher on Alec Pierce, but he did not come through for me. So maybe I'll start going lower on the opposite team. But if you guys want to get in on the fun, man, um, it is a ton of fun. Use my promo code UCFJAG. It's going to double your deposit. It'll have fun for you. It'll help me out, too. And uh, we can get rolling with that. Now, with all that said, let's get on with this video. All right, guys. So today I want to go through some power rankings. Now, my viewpoint on this season is a lot different than it's been in the past. Usually I'm really focused on like the Jaguars and maybe even around the AFC South to see if maybe the Jaguars can climb to the top of like a bad division. But now the way I look at the Jaguars is like we're a pretty good team right now or at least should be a good team but not only that but the gap between the jaguars and the next best team seems to be pretty substantial i mean the second best team is led by ryan Tannehill, who just had an awful game on sunday and it seems like even he's past his prime so now i'm kind of interested to see okay the jaguars are seem to be more so not only fighting for the division but more so fighting for playoff seating so now i'm kind of interested to see like around the nfl where do these different experts kind of see us? So I'm going to kind of all the national sites and looking at what people are saying. Now, I'm not going to do this like every week um, just because, you know, I'd be a little bit a little bit too much. But, you know, I do think it's interesting to see kind of where other people view us. And, you know, maybe I'll revisit this every like four weeks or so. Um, so let's go ahead and see this. The first one really is the one that inspired me to do it because it's by Jacksonville's own Pete Prisco. You know, he has a show on Monday night with Tony Baselli. He actually put the Jaguars at number three on his power rankings. He says, even on a day when they didn't look great on offense, they scored 31 points. That's the sign of a special unit. They have to be better this week against the Chiefs. Now, do I agree with this number three ranking? I mean, who are the Jaguars ahead of? The Chiefs? You know, Cowboys, Ravens, the Dolphins, maybe a little bit low on here for me. So, you know, we're ahead of a bunch of teams and, you know, right behind 49ers and Eagles. So we're in a pretty good spot in Pete's eyes. Now we'll go over to ESPN. ESPN has the Jaguars ranked at number eight. Um, they said best debut performance, Calvin Ridley, week one stats, eight receptions for 101 yards, touchdown. Um, he said this was Ridley's first regular season game since October 24th, 2021 and his first as a member of the Jaguars. He did most of his work in the first half. Okay, they're just talking about Kyle Ridley. Um, so, yeah, number eight. Now, who are we behind? The Detroit Lions, fair. Ravens looked a little sloppy against the Texans team, but they still did blow them out. Dolphins looked really good against the, against the Chargers, Cowboys. So, yeah, we're at number eight. Probably about, I think, the average of, like, maybe where we should be. That's the top quarter of teams. But, you know, it's kind of ranked right there of, like, like a division round exit is kind of where this is. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. This is Fox Sports. Now, Fox Sports has the Jaguars at number 10. Now they say credit the Jags for not panicking when they found themselves trailing late to the lowly Colts. It would have been a very Jaguars thing to do had they melted down. But instead, they outscored Indy 14 and nothing in the fourth quarter to put things on ice. Trevor Lawrence to Calvary really looks like it's going to be one of the fun, most fun connections in the NFL. Now, I don't really like this write-up because he says it would have been very a very Jags thing to do. I'll be honest, man. I'm, I'm one person that's always said, oh, typical Jags, we're the Jaguars. But, you know, at this point now, like, we're not the same old Jags. I mean, if you look at how the Jaguars finished, you know, the 2022 season, now you see us now with Doug Peterson and Trevor Lawrence. I think we're kind of getting out of that same old Jags kind of, you know, persona that we have. So, not a huge fan of this one. Even at number 10 of the rankings, that's like a wild card exit is where they have them. This is behind the Lions, the Bengals, the Bills. You know, this right here, it seems like, I don't know how much movement this was. I imagine they had all these teams right here, like the Chiefs stay at number three, like the 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 
Bills at number seven, you know, the Bengals at number eight. I mean, I, I imagine these didn't move too much. It's not very flexible. So the next one's the NFL Shield, NFL.com. They said, had the Jaguars at number seven. They said, early mistakes put the Jaguars in a hole against the Colts, but it's something that it says something that the team could coolly move ahead with some office of flourishes and win comfortably enough on the road. Cal really is a real deal. He and Trevor Lawrence look like a perfect match in their first regular season together. And they go on to talk about, you know, different things in the game. So number seven, they have us increasing by two points, leapfrogging the, you know, the, the bills um, also behind the lions, dolphins, cowboys, kind of cookie cutter stuff here. This is kind of the consensus rankings right now. Now, next up is Yahoo. Um, Yahoo has the Jaguars at number 11, pretty low ranking. Kyle Ridley looked great. The Jaguars didn't have their best game, and they'll need to clean up some things. But seeing Trevor Lawrence and Ridley already looks unstoppable. It was a great start to the season. So, yeah, they have them just ahead of the Packers and the Saints, Chargers, but behind the Ravens, Browns, and Dolphins. So, yeah, I mean, big, big week this week coming up because the Chargers to be or to say the Chiefs to be able to improve on that. So this one right here, SI.com, has the Jaguars at number 10. The Jaguars survived their week one matchup against the biggest mystery in the NFL. Anthony Richardson gave the Jaguars all could handle a raw and more powerful Jalen Hurts who, who forced their defense to respect a quick draw all game. So, yeah, here's another one, number 10, not too great. The last one I have is NBC, um, NBC or Pro Football Talk, PFT. Um, they have the Jaguars at number seven. They say it was closer than it should have been against an overmatched Colts team. So, yeah, I mean, I think it looks like here the consensus is that the Jaguars are around that number eight spot, which honestly, a bunch of, you know, Jags fans see us as a Super Bowl contender. But right now it's clear that really only Pete Prisco sees us as that. Um, right now we're seen as like eighth or ninth best team, which is like, you know, at best a wild card win and an early divisional round exit. So, yeah, and right now it's time for the Jaguars to – you know, really put their foot down in the NFL. I mean, you know, we have a lot of work to do. Obviously, the Colts game wasn't perfect, but the great thing about the NFL is that this isn't like the AP poll or this isn't like, what is it, the, the playoff rankings? Like, we don't have the politic to try to get into like the top four of these rankings. You know, everything's on a field. You get in with your record and there's no politicking involved. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun to see how the Jowers do down the stretch. We have a really, really important game this Sunday against the Chiefs. And after that, I mean, we have the Texans after that. So we have a we have a real opportunity here to, uh, you know, do some good stuff here. But, you know, really excited about the Jaguars right now. You know, we're, we're in a good we're in a good place right now, I would say. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, definitely drop a like. We got some uh, preview content coming out. Hopefully the Jaguars can find a way to go 2-0. Go Jags.